This is the second part of the lesson on torn paper, uh, paper collage penguins. And we're going to start off now by adding eyes. So the materials that we're using is a black Sharpie marker. And we're going to start off right at the top of our penguins. And we're going to make two circles really carefully over the torn paper. And then right inside those circles, I'm going to make two curved lines facing down, kind of like sad faces. And then I can go ahead and color those in. And now my penguin has eyes. The next thing I'm going to do is show you how to make the penguin's beak. So we have an orange piece of construction paper, a glue stick, a pencil, and a pair of scissors. With my pencil, I'm going to draw the biggest triangle that I can draw. So from this corner, I'm going to draw to the middle of the triangle. And then from this corner, I'm going to also draw to the middle of the triangle. So I have a nice, big beak. And I can tell that the audience can't see that in the film. So I'm going to go ahead and make that with Sharpie lines so that other people can see how big I made that beak. Now that I've got the triangle shape, I'm going to cut along the lines I drew. Just like this. And I don't want people to see my black lines or my pencil lines. So that's the side I'm going to put the glue on. I put the glue on the same side as the pencil. So I'm covering up wherever I see pencil, I'm putting glue. Now I'm going to flip my nose over and put it right in the middle of the penguin's face. Next, I'm going to show how to add accessories to the penguin. So accessories could be things like sunglasses or bow ties or a hat or a scarf. So for my students, I've made a sunglass tracer. So they can take a piece of construction paper, a color of their choice, and use a pencil to trace around the outside of the tracer. And then they can use a scissors to cut them out and then put them right over their penguin if they wanted their penguin to have glasses on. I have also made some triangle tracers that the students can use. And with the triangles, they can trace two triangles and draw a circle on their piece of paper. So I traced a triangle here. I traced a triangle here. I drew a little circle. And then when you cut those out, you could place them together, point touching point, circle in the middle, to make a bow tie, or if you wanted it to be a girl, you could put it up in the hair to make it a little bow for her hair. Another accessory that you can make is a scarf. And to make a scarf, I just cut three rectangles, one a little bit bigger and two a little smaller. And this rectangle fits just right across the penguin like that. And then I can use these two to make the ends of the scarf. So it looks maybe like the scarf is blowing in the wind. And another option they could make would be a hat. And so I cut out a big giant triangle. And then I was going to cut a little circle for the top of the hat. And so I can cut a little circle for the top of the hat and I can glue that right on. And now my penguin is ready for winter. So you could add bow ties, scarfs, sunglasses, or hats, um, a bunch of other things that you can think of. This is the second part of the Penguin Collage lesson for kindergarten.